So let me explain all the possible ways how to assign pay group. Pay group okay. the one we created is MD. Okay. So we assign two members. Only one member. Just a second. DMD. Hmm. This is the pay group we created. So what we did here, one employee. We have assigned the pay group for one employee. How we have, how we have assigned? We went to the worker. Yes. Transaction. Yeah. Payroll. Payroll. Assign pay group. This yes. is the task. Yes. Another option is another employee we have assigned. How we have assigned it through the task card. Assign pay group. Okay, two, two ways we have assigned. Now let me explain the third possible way. Okay, but this is required quite uh, intensive testing part, but let's do that. Before that, um, go to the worker, pay group, monster pay group. Yeah. So here we have assigned the automatic assignment rule map. Okay, so let me put it in this way. Some people at worker level, Asan pay group at uh, through task. Now the one we are doing, one we are going to discuss is through auto rule. Yeah, assign or default pay group based on auto. So this is the rule we created in our last session. The simple criteria. What we said here is, if I'm hiring any employee in this RMS manufacturing, and if the employee location is USA, then this pay group, which pay group, this pay group called RBS pay group automatically should be defaulted. Sorry, uh, DMD pay group automatically should be defaulted. That is expectations. No manual intervention. So normally in real time scenarios, if you're using in-house payroll, we may, we don't go this option. We will give a flexibility to the payroll partner. Payroll partner will decide whether this employee semi-monthly, monthly, bi-weekly or uh, what's yeah. another option? Semi-monthly, weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. So they will ascend directly. But sometimes if you're in-house payroll, you may require this automatic pay group. Sorry, out of, I'm sorry, external payroll we may require this automatic pay group assignment. Now we have created the rule, we'll do a quick test. So for, for to do this, we need some help from core HR. So I'm gonna do the third setup. I'm gonna create a business process. This is a prerequisite in core HR. Create position. As it looks, I already created the BP. And then I'm going to copy the BP called hire employee in this hire. In order to default it, you we must have to include certain sub processes. Under hire BP, I'm going to add step B type action specify assign pay group, who is going to be assigned the pay group, payroll partner. This is a work date delivered rule. So what I'm saying here is, if any employee has been hired, then the immediate next step is pay group must be assigned. Okay, who will assign payroll partner? This is the work day owned or delivered role. This role we are gonna assign to one employee for our testing. Okay. Then, since I select the assigned pay group sub process, I also must have to copy the BP. But don't worry about this task, ma'am. This is to be taken care of by the core HR team.
type will include review by payroll partner as well. And then, so I'm going to create a position first for testing purpose. Create, let me create three positions for our testing purpose. In this, in this session, we are going to talk about how to default the pay group automatically at worker level. Okay. Okay. So in order to do that, I am creating some test data here. Yeah. And I copied certain business processes as well. So what is expectations? If, if I hire any employee under this organization, the next step, pay group assignment step should trigger. From where it should trigger, hire business process. And then you should go to the payroll partner. Payroll partner, this pay group should be defaulted, our pay group. There is a case, our automatic pay group assignment will be working. If it failed by any chance, that means we have to troubleshoot the automatic pay group assignment rule. Okay. So, okay, go back to our pay group again. Okay, these two people are assigned, third person are going to assign, that is new hire. And as per the criteria, if I hire any employee in this organization, and if the employee is the USA, this pay group defaulted. We are not supposed to select manually, it should default, that is expectations, okay? Now, I need to assign role also because view pay group role we have given to, um, I'm sorry, assign pay group, review pay group role is part of payroll partner. I'm going to assign the role here. So select the, your pay group related action. Roles, assign roles. Adjust the dates. One one two zero twenty two. Okay, and uh, assign the role, which is payroll partner. Okay, I must be a partner for our testing. Uh, okay, good. So Logan McNair going to act as a payroll partner. So normally why we are to assign the role? Because if anyone is coming into this pay group, if anyone is coming into the pay group, a third eye check is going to perform Logan McNair. If anyone is coming into the pay group, Logan McNair 
uh, will review is this employee a right employee for this baby if yes approve then only the employee will be assigned here okay uh, does does Logan it? have to approve it or is it just automatic? Uh, can you the question again? Okay. okay, the process is going to be does, automatic now. She's not going to be added. Does Logan have to approve it? Can you set the BP up so that she doesn't have to approve it? How it works is since automatic pay group assignment rule met, if this rule met, then automatically pay group will be Then after, Logan McCann has to submit or approve. Because we need a one more one person check, right? Whether the employees okay. are coming into this correct group or not. Yeah. For that, okay. I, I include the review. Okay, so one more question. Yeah, you yeah. were saying yesterday, yes. if you're sending yes. HR data to a third party to process payroll to not assign a big group, is that right? Excellent. That's true. Normally, automatic assignment rule. No, 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 no. Other way around. Sorry. Automatic assignment rule for external payroll. In no Wait, say payroll, that again. Yeah, automatic pay group assignment rule normally will use for external payroll. For example, in India I'm hiring thousand employees. I can't assign pay group each and every time for thousand employees. So I want system should default because all employees are part of monthly payroll because I have only one pay frequency here. The same thing coming to US, I have different pay frequencies. Monthly, semi-monthly, weekly, bi-weekly. I don't want to default the pay group. I want payroll manager, payroll partner needs to be assigned manually so that they have a control, they have visibility. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Now, let, that's, that's okay. Let me test it. You'll get an idea of what is the functionality. I will give more examples. Okay. Going to the organization, I have created the position and uh, let me proceed to hire an employee. Create new pre-hire. Don't worry, this is part of core HR tasks. We are just testing our pay group is defaulting or not. Something like this. Initiating hiring. Mm -hmm. Somewhere John I will select. Submit. It went, it, sh it's, it should supposed to trigger to Logan McNeil, but it went for unassigned. That's okay. I'll move this step ahead. Okay. We are focused only on defaulting the pay group. I'm sending this step to Logan. She'll receive the step here. Now see, the pay group must be default. But in this scenario, pay group is not default. It failed. Here, it's asking me to select the pay group. 
Mm-hmm. This is fail. My test case is super flop. <laughs> okay, I'm sorting manually. This is not. This should not happen. Okay, this is not supposed to. Now this let me troubleshoot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just will troubleshoot it, ma'am, so that it's helpful for you too. Let's troubleshoot why it is not defaulted. Okay, going back, discard, and going back to supervisor organization. Uh, RMS. I'm going to cancel the hire process. No options. I want to troubleshoot why. Or let me do this way. Copy the event. Copy text. Go to the this is RMS manufacturing supervisory. Go to the pay group. Go to the RMS. I should use same naming conventions. Oh, sorry. RBS. I'll go to the rule. I will see. Test this rule. Hmm. I'm going to test this rule. Why, first of all, whether my rule has any issues or not. Rule result is no. The template didn't meet the criteria. Hence, rule is not defaulted. This is point one in troubleshooting. Now, let me see why it is not defaulted. I'll go to the rule. Here, RMS manufacturing organization. Country of location. I will slightly change this rule accurately now. Redaction. Condition rule. Edit. Supervisory organization. Proposed. RMS. Let me try this combination. And before that, I will also do a simple test whether it's matching or not. Let me maintain all the names as one because this is RBS, right? First, I'll change this to RBS. Going forward, we'll use the same name. Uh, I will change this rule. First, let me test. Richard. Okay. Now the rule is yes, which means if I hire this employee, he will be passed. Great. Let me change this rule name and we'll do end to end testing. Okay, 
So go back to supervisor organization, cancel this hire, the employee won't be hired, related action, business process, cancel, scroll down, test, submit. Now oh, let me repeat again the hire process, related action, hire employee, Richard K, since we already created, no, no one is available. Fifty four people. I must use some unique name. The other shortcuts we can find our employees. Hmm. Here we go. Here is our here, our employee. Start high. Excellent. Step is triggered as a review. I'm selecting review expectation. The pay group should be default. You can see them on the screen. I have not selected the pay group. Automatically it is defaulted. Right? I have not selected. Of course, if you want to change it, you can change it by selecting the values. Approve. Now go to the, our pay group. We have three people here. Any questions here? How to default the pay group on work time? Could you please repeat once, Kiran? It's really good. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Don't worry. So initially, when a test failed, the test case was failed. How it failed? Because the rule water created is incorrect. How I realized after hiring the employee. Now I I want to ensure. Is this because of the rule it is failing? That's the reason I have done the testing. How I done the testing here? On the event, I select the event. When I select the event, it told me, it will tell you here, yes or no. Insert here, it will tell you as yes, if yes means the rule is working for this worker. It's a proof for me, 100% confident if I can proceed, the rule will be defaulted. If it is no, which means the rule is failing. Okay. So, based on that, when in the first test, it told me clearly no, the employee not met the criteria. Then, what I did, I have changed the rule, rule to supervisor organization proposed, country of location proposed. Earlier also I have set the same fields, but the fields are different. Supervisor organization for worker, country of location. Now I have changed, then it's working. Any questions, ma'am, here? Sorry if I made it more complex. Because we have done the hiring, uh, due to that we have selected proposed or... Uh... Mm, that's a good point. So when you're doing hiring, right, first time you're entering the employee. That's the reason we have to select proposed. If you're testing for an employee who is, who is already existing in the system, then we need to select current. In Workday, any field you select, you, get, you have two, two types of field. Proposed current. Proposed is for new hires. Current is for existing employees. Okay? Yes, any got questions? it. Okay. 